Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time we're going to be looking at the Noctua NH-D9L Chromax Black CPU Cooler. Don't let it size fool you. Right then, so this is the Noctua NH-D9L. Big thank you to them for sending this out. Now let's actually see what's in the box. So, okay, so it comes with an accessory pack. This is everything that's included, and it supports AMD and Intel. It comes with thermal paste, the screwdriver, and then there's also those annoying clips. But let's have a look at this first. Okay, so there are the annoying clips. Here is the manual, which I will say is probably color-coded. Yes, it is color coated and that is everything it supports so that's what it supports amd and intel so it's am4 am5 and of course this is all in documentation it shows you how to put the cooler together tells you everything that's included so let's get rid of this for a minute now okay so everything else comes with amd intel and then it comes with their own thermal paste i would have liked a bigger tub of thermal paste but that is fine. And then it comes with a noise. I believe this is a silencer. Yeah, noise. Yeah, low noise adapter. So let's have to take a look at the cooler. It comes in this. I'm assuming this is fully recyclable. Then it comes with this, then, which is the cooler. That's the box. We'll put that there. Now, I'm assuming this is how it opens. Aha, there. Okay, so like this. Here we go. So. Ooh, wow, look how tiny this is. <laughs> wow, this dirty. This is tiny. <laughs> wow, look how small that is. That is dirty. Wow, that is very dirty. Now, normal, not to a fashion. It's premium. It looks very premium. It's got four big, thicky pipes. And of course, that's the base plate which is oh, that's lovely and it's beautiful mirror finish then of course this is the mountain and let's get this installed now and take a look at it shall we but other than that that is so small it's going to be fun to have a look so let's get this installed okay and this is the noise test of 50 percent for the noctua nh d 9L Chrome Max Black CPU Cooler. So this is 50% fan speed. Can barely hear it. This is 100% fan speed. Clear, yeah, you can hear it, but it's not really loud. Right then, so when it comes to the thermals, and I've done two different types of tests. I've done one for AM4 and AM5. Now I have done the CPUs, both of them just out the box settings with no PBO, because this cooler isn't meant for that. It is it has a TDP of 88 watts, so it's not meant for cpus are drawn 200 watts just so you guys know that and the first test is with a 5900x just out of the box no pbo xmp was enabled but the room temperature at the time of testing was 16 celsius and the room did go up by one de one degrees so for cinebench r23 the idles were 29 celsius with a max of 72 blender classroom the idles were 29 with a max of 70 celsius Blender BMW, the idles are 29 with a max of 69. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles with were 29 Celsius with a max of 71. Right, so when it comes to the AM5 system, I did use my main system. It is a Ryzen 9 7900. It does have a 65 watt TDP, but this particular CPU does draw 90 watts even at that. So I thought this was actually a good test. Now, the room temps were 16 Celsius during the testing, but it went up by 3 Celsius. 
so you do have to put that into consideration now for Cinebench R23 the idles with 30 celsius with a max of 62 the blender classroom was idle at 30 with a max of 58 blender bmw the idle at 30 with a max of 60 and 3d mark cpu test the idle at 30 with a max of 64 and the 5900X was drawn 140 watts, while the 7900 CPU was drawing 90 watts, respectively. Okay, and guys, what did you think? Now, for a little air cooler, it performed well. 5900X, yeah, it's not the most demanding CPU out there, but at stock settings for a cooler, that's rated at 88 TDP. It handled 140 watts, no problems. I didn't want to push it because at the end of the day, I didn't want to damage my stuff because at the end of the day, the further you push a CPU, you can risk have you can tend to have a risk of damaging something. So I wanted to keep this within its spec and it over delivered on the 5900X. It performed well with the 7900. Now, if you guys don't know who Noctua are, you've clearly been living under a rock. But, no, I'm joking. But, Noctua are up the top. They are, like, one of the top-tier CPU cooler brands out there. Them, be quiet. You've got the, you know, there's a lot of brands out there that do CPU coolers. But the top two, are, I'd say, Noctua and be quiet. They both are the top-tier CPU cooler brands. Now, this little cooler, despite its size, perform well. It wasn't as loud as I assumed because generally with a smaller fan, it does generally generate more noise. But I will say not to have lived up to their good quality. And this performed well. It sounded fine. The, the mountain, it's very easy to install. Be quiet or not to a mountain because they actually care about the consumers. Not like, not like, cheap brands that put in stupid mountain they they do care about the consumer they want to make the installation as easy as possible for a beginner now the mountain it is a, a tad different from what they used to have they have updated it so there is a bit of an offset for am5 but i didn't see any issues there it performed well it's chromax black i like the black not to a don't take us wrong but i don't like your actual general color scheme i'm not a fan of it yeah but i like the chromax black i like the redux versions i think the black design makes it look better in my personal opinion if you agree please leave a comment down below now i don't like fan clips i hate them i do not like them at all and a lot of brands need to start getting away from these clips i don't like them they're so finicky and you've got to take things out sometimes to get your hand in there. I haven't got small hands. I've got quite big hands. So trying to get these little clips off, it was an absolute nightmare for me. But that's because i got quite big hands. Now, not to say that they don't work. They do work. Clips have been used for years. Years and years and years. Since back into the early 2000s, they've been used. So, But I just personally don't like the clips. I wish all brands, every brand would just move on from the clips and try and make something a bit different like Arctic did with their Freezer 36 with clip-ins, then it'd be a lot easier for well, me personally. But if you don't like the clips, please leave a comment down below because I hate the clips. But that's no negative thing against uh, Noctua because many brands use the clips and I say it in all my videos I do not like the clips doesn't matter what brand it is I hate the clips that is just me personally just I, I just don't like them now it's built well 65 pound uh, now this is more like I said it's a premium brand so you're going to be paying for the brand whether I agree it's worth it or not that is left for discussion it's primarily if you guys think it's worth the money, if you if, if it's worth your hard-earned money to buy this to put in your system. Now, this is primarily, I'd say, targeted to CPUs that may be drawn 90 watts. That is where this is targeted because that's where it does the best. 
Now, for something this small, does fit in rather a lot of different cases. It will fit in some small form factor cases, so that's a very good thing. And overall, it's a very good cooler. It gets my stamp of approval. I've always liked the smaller coolers because they tend to look statically anyway. In a big case, they look so small. It's you know. But I'd like to say thank you to not to have sending this out as well as their thermal paste guard. I appreciate it. I would love to look at your other Chromax black coolers, maybe the bigger ones. I'd love to take a look at them. And this is Richard for Welsh Tech. Don't forget to subscribe because I've just had some stuff come back that will intrigue you from brands that you've probably heard of but you didn't know they make these products. So make sure you subscribe for that. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you. Good. Bye.